Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Royal Deuce Network a Saturday morning live stream. I hope you guys all can hear me. Let me know if you can't. I'm using a new mic this morning, so I just got it and I think it's working correctly. So if it's not, please let me know. There's even like a little story connected to this, but I just wanted to welcome you guys here to this live stream. We talk about all the, the random royal news we got this week, and it's been a rather tragic week for the Windsors because we did obviously hear about the loss of Thomas Kingston. He was married to Lady Gabriella Windsor, daughter of the um, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. And so it was just very sad, very sudden, it felt like, and just sort of out of nowhere. We got some indications that it might be quite a sort of a sad story uh, there. And so, yay. And good. You guys can hear me. That's awesome. And we also have as well, obviously, Prince William missing out on King Constantine's service of Thanksgiving, but he also did a couple of engagements, including St. David's Day in Wales. We have Harry losing his court case, which I think everybody was like, thrilled about in terms of Revic. And then we also have that Harry and Megan. Sorry, I'm thinking, oh, there was this interesting media blitz article that we got. And I was like, huh, I kind of wanted to do a story on that. And yes, Wendy said, Lady Gabriella, sorry, I missed you. With Lady Gabriella looked lovely in her wedding tiara. She really did. She, I love her wedding look. I thought her wedding tiara was lovely. Um, it's so, it's just such a sad, sad story. Um, she's just so lovely. I think so, so lovely. And so it's just such sad, sad to hear about everything that has happened and obviously the loss and everything. And so, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get through and trying to find a good picture here of her on her wedding day. She looks so pretty. Oh, just such, such a sad, sad. And it sounds like he may have taken his own life. We don't know that for sure positive yet, but there they are on their wedding day. Let's see if we can, yeah, we can magnify that a little bit. So just very, very sad in this situation. And then, like I said, the media blitz with Harry and Megan, I have some interesting thoughts on that. And I don't think I ended up getting it on Twitter, but kind of the general thought was <laughs> um, that basically Harry and Megan, they keep doing like PR stuff, but you guys need to do like actual stuff. You need to do actual stuff. So that'll be interesting. And yes, we have a new setup. So like I said, I think I mentioned it last week, we switched offices. So the stuff that was in my other room got switched out with this room. And so I have a new setup and a new mic. And um, the whole point is to hopefully get, like I, I'm working on a live stream that can be also utilized as a podcast. So I want to make sure I have the best mic possible right here. And funny story with this mic before we get into Royal news, hopefully you guys won't mind the story hour, but, uh, just very quickly, I'd ordered this. It was not cheap and I was expecting it. And I was on a members only live stream. They're like, Oh yeah, it's here. And I'm like, yes, this is great. And so I went down to, cause they said it was in my parcel box. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird, but I'll go down. It'll be fine. Go down to my mailbox and they have like bigger parcel lockers. So if you have a package, it can be put in the locker. I got down there, no key no key to that locker. So my, my, my microphone was there, but I could not access it. And I was like, well, crud, that stinks. And so I called, you know, tried to do everything I could to try to figure it out. And basically it was like, well, you have to wait till tomorrow. It was pretty much the only answer. And so I got it. So I waited literally like an hour yesterday, I think outside my mailbox waiting for the mail person to come. I did like a drive around the block, came back and she was there. Thank goodness. And I was like, can I get my package? And she looked in all the boxes and she's like, it's not here. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's not here. It's my package. She's like, I think I said it for somebody else. And I'm like, okay. And so she ended up thinking she knew which house it was. And so she went over there and knocked on their door and they answered it and they did have it, but they had opened the package and surely would have known they did not order this microphone and yet did not come to bring it back to me yet. So I'm wondering, question, just a little thought. Do you think they were planning on giving it back to me or not? <laughs> this is my question. Because I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know exactly who they are. They're just a couple of houses down, but I'm really thinking, yeah, I don't know if they were going to give it back to me. <laughs> so anyways, yes, we have a new setup. So I usually am technically over here when I do the live streams. And this was against a wall, which it is now. But now I am actually facing forward. So I have space. The lights are further back. So 
we have a whole new setup. So real quick, we'll get to Colleen, one of our members. Thank you so much for the super sticker this morning. That is so awesome. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. And we also have Jennifer Mill. Mahone became a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I'm so glad you were able to join. That is so exciting this Saturday. And we also have Jane. Hi, Jane. Jane was one of my earliest, earliest subscribers. So good morning to you, Jane, as well. Okay, guys, let's get into these comments. And so let's begin. Oh, no, Azima. Oh, did you fall? I'm so sorry. I hope you guys are feel. I hope you are feeling better this morning. And we also have Ritz. Greetings from Chicago. Jane B. Murphy appears to be a troll. We have a troll already. It's really early. <laughs> this is before the even live stream starts. I mean, don't. Sh I mean, I don't bother other people. I don't know why they bother me. All right. Uh, N Niners girl became a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Niners girl. I get I'm guessing you're a 49ers fan. All right. That is awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, hello, everyone. This is Eyes of Texas. Hello to all. There are robins on my windowsill. So spring is near. Yes, I, it's already feeling like spring is near. It's already feeling like spring is near. <laughs> yeah, Jane B says, as I'm going to look up the comments, someone called Murphy said, Catherine and William has split bonkers. Yes. No, they definitely haven't split there. And I, I actually filmed a video last night, but because I've been messing with my settings and stuff, because I'll eventually actually use my actual recording camera I do for my videos for the live streams. But I haven't quite figured out all the settings yet. And there have been some such nasty rumors going around about the death of Thomas Kingston and somehow connecting it with Catherine and William. And it's just so ugly, like not even worth repeating because it's just so nasty. And I just can't believe people can be that ugly based on somebody who tragically like passed away. Um, I don't know exactly. I mean, it sounds like he may have taken his own life. We don't know for sure. Could have always been an accidental discharge. So I won't say for certain until we have official word. But given his loss, I just don't, I just don't know why people are going down such the nastiest route when it comes to that. Jessica Reed, thank you so much for gifting five Rails News Network memberships. I hope people really, really like that. It is so awesome to see that little community grow. We have Terry. Good morning from rainy Philadelphia. We have Berkshire Lady. Good afternoon, Brittany, Miss Pippa, and everyone from very wet and cold UK. Yes, Pippa might make an appearance. She has discovered the office, and she sort of enjoys coming up here to the office. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tanya says, good morning, Brittany Rainey here in our nation's capital. We have Aram, good morning. And Red Squirrel, we have, hi, everyone from country Durham, England. And we have, let's see, Dimension, let's see. Asma, is King Constantine related to Prince Philip? I think so. I'm, I'm not, because Prince Philip was a prince of Greece. I'm not sure exactly where the family connection is. I know it's probably, it's probably there. I'm just not familiar entirely with it. Uh, but we do know, for example, though, that his wife, Anne-Marie of Greece, uh, ended up marrying, was actually the daughter of the king of Denmark. So her children are princes of Greece and Denmark. And so she has um, a connection there. And then his sister went on to marry Juan Carlos. So his sister is Queen Sophia of Spain. So we do have a couple of family connections there. And I know the family connection is there. I'm just sorry. I just can't think of it quite off the top of my head. All right. This fan says, good morning, Brittany. Do you think the Waleses are following the late Queen's route by not giving the public any info on Princess Catherine? It's a bit tricky. You know, I think they gave us plenty of information, really. I mean, I don't see the need to know her exact medical history. And I can infer based on the statement that the surgery was serious. It was invasive and she's going to have a long recovery. So to me, I don't really need anything else other than that. To me, that gives me plenty personally. I know other people want to know all the nitty gritty, but for me, I just, I kind of know that's, 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 that's kind of just seems to be enough for me, but I know not everybody feels that way, but yeah, that is where I am at with it. But yeah, it's, I mean, it is a bit tricky, but I think too, Royals give up so much of their personal life to the public that, you know, when they need some privacy, they, they deserve it. Oh my gosh. And I did f figure out new settings on my little thing. So maybe at the end of the time, I'll figure it out. I have like a little say, I can make a monster voice. It just makes me very excited. Okay. <laughs> so we have uh, Aletha. 
McFarl McFarlane, uh, waiting to hear about what's on tap for today. Monologues. Yes, so much going on. Obviously, we have, you know, still the all. Uh, and of course, the silly, where is Kate? Hashtag, where is Kate? I did, again, a video on that last night. But because I've been messing with my settings, the whole video was out of focus pretty much. So I don't know why I didn't stop and switch the settings because I noticed it was off and it was doing funky things. I don't know why I didn't do that. I just didn't. So I actually have the shirt I wore for that video last night. So I was like, as soon as I'm done here, I already got my makeup on. I already got the lights and everything. All I need to do is get up and film it and then be done. Or maybe even I'll try to, um, you know, see how it does with with the microphone. So hopefully that is taken up. But yeah, very, um, yeah, she is. Uh, so we got lots going on. Alice says, hi, everyone. We have Leanda. Good morning, all from St. Lucia. We have Jacqueline. Hello, Sheila. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Paz, uh, hello from Chicago. Hey, Paz. I hope you're doing well. We have um, our Me Meander. A good uh, night, morning from Queensland, Australia. Oh my goodness. You all from Australia who get on. My goodness. It is so late for you. <laughs> I am a night person, so I, I I do understand. But sometimes too, I'm like, oh my goodness, guys. Um, Susie Q, good morning. Another sunny day in Wisconsin. Um, Asma says, how is King Charles doing? As far as we know, he's doing well. Again, cancer treatments. Again, like I, so I think for me, because I've had surgeries and I've had family members who've gone through cancer treatments. I'm not like salivating to see them because I know it takes a lot out of you. It does. And the only thing I think would be nice of Catherine and William at some point maybe is if they could get like a nice picture of Catherine with the kids or something at home. Like even if she was in bed recovering and it was just like a sweet little picture, I think that would be comforting to people. But I, I'm not clamoring for it. I think Charles is doing great. I don't think anything is... Um, I think it's all going, it's all going well. And it, it is just going to take a while. It's just going to take a while. And I understand that, that that's the case. Amy C. Hello from the Isle of Lewis or Louis. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I guess it would be Lewis. I, sorry. I think Louis and I am. Um, anyways, I don't even know where that is. That is so cool though. I, I love Louis. So now I need to know of Lewis. I don't know why I say Louis. Ooh. Oh, where is this? This is in Scotland. This is in Scotland. Ooh, that's so cool. Okay. Okay. My, 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 in, my um, curiosity has been stated. That's awesome though. That's so cool. It's like, I'm kind of the north of Scotland and one of the kind of aisle things that splinter off. If anybody's curious. <laughs> As much as anyone going on the Scotland trip, we officially have 11 people signed up. So I'm so excited. We still do have more spots. And I think the trip officially closes in mid-April, and we will have a Christmas tour coming up if anybody is interested in that. I just requested that. I had to request that super early because it actually, the other one, and it, I was originally going to do the tour that has us go basically the route that we did last year for Germany, Austria, which was awesome, but they have a new one that goes from Berlin to Dresden to Prague. So I am super excited about that because we can have some green vault time, and I'm, I'm all for you guys don't know green vault is in dresden and it was the one that was robbed a couple of years ago um and so they have a lot of treasures from i don't know if it's the prussian crown i don't, I don't know which exact german principality it is but it's a place where there are a lot of a lot, a lot of diamonds so you know me guys i love the diamonds and we went on the germany tour we were able to see a couple of grand tiaras in bavaria and munich but i'm always interested i haven't been to che the czech republic yet so I'm always interested also in going to new places. And I've always wanted to go to Berlin and Dresden. Actually, I had a whole like Warsaw, Krakow, Berlin or Dre uh, Prague, Dresden, Berlin trip at one point, like sort of planned out because um, I, I did a whole like research papers on the bombings in, in Germany and everything. So uh, Dizfan says, yes, a pic picture is an issue for the whales. As I understand, they should do one showing Princess Catherine reading get well cards, et cetera. Yeah, I think that would just be super nice. And again, you don't have to do something super fancy or anything like that. I just think it would just be something that just gives people a little bit. And it can be totally controlled. So I, what I feel like some people want to do is like parade her for the world. I'm like, no, she's like, if you've never had surgery, it sucks. It really does suck. And you don't feel like interacting with a whole ton of people, especially if like getting around is hard. 
Um, cause I broke my foot. So I was on crutches for a while. Again, cover this all in the video I can't use. So <laughs> I'll probably redo it. So I wanted to rant about that, but, um, yeah, it's, I don't understand that we need to see Kate. Where is Kate? Where is Kate? They told us she wouldn't be around till Easter guys. I don't feel like that's that hard. <laughs> So, but a picture would be nice. Uh, Cackstar said, everyone will be watching the Princess of Wales' calendar events for next month, breaking the internet. Let's turn where is gate into positive trending term. Yes, I think it will break the bank. I think everybody will be super excited to see her again. I'm really hoping that she does the Easter walk because I think that would be pretty easy. Um, I know it's, it's, you know, it's, it's like, you know, an hour church service, you know, most English people go to, you know, church for not most English, but a lot of English people go to church for Easter. It's kind of, you know, the two high holidays, Christmas and Easter. So I just think that would be, it would, it's on Windsor too. So I think that would be a pretty easy one if she's feeling it. Jen just says, can you believe Harry said his court case? He's no, he is in more danger than his mother was. Yeah. And I, I again, his, Harry, your mother dry, died in a drunk driving accident. Yes. The paparazzi probably contributed but the driver was also drunk. So, and she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. So like those two things, like you should focus on talking about those two things. Again, Harry lives in the delusion. I like, he really does seem to reflect what the media narrative is of Diana, not like who Diana actually was. Uh, and so that's, that's just doesn't work. Shaz says, Azama, I haven't been to Bristol since I was a child. You need to come up here during Brittany's visit. Ah, oh, I haven't been to Bristol either. I think that'd be fun though. All right, I'm going to take a sip of my, I'm hoping it doesn't, this mic is better and it doesn't pick up on quite as much ambient noise. Mm. Doing um, salted caramel today. Ooh, it is lovely. Abdullah's lifestyle. Good morning from rainy Jonestown, Pennsylvania. We have a mole on Lave, This is my first RNN live. I always end up having to watch it later. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to make it. Uh, Elizabeth says, good morning, everyone from Manitoba, Canada. Kimberly B., good morning. Queen of Dreams, hello from Montana. Christine says, love the lies, Brittany. I am Canadian, living in Thailand, but I always try to make it. Aw, thank you. Hope you're enjoying Thailand. And good morning from rainy, the Pacific Northwest, which has a very similar weather pattern to um, the UK in a lot of ways. Alice says, oh, I'm a member for seven months. Love watching you, Brittany. You always cheer me up. Why, thank you. I'm so glad I, I cheer you up. I try to be positive and happy. Um, so yeah. Jessica Reed says, praying for King Charles and Catherine. And thank you so much for the tip. And yes, prayers for them, of course. And not only just what they're going through, but the loss of Thomas. And then you have all these horrible, horrible people talking about Catherine and Thomas and William and just, oh, it's just so ugly. So, so we have Teresa, greetings from upstate New York. May you leave, may have to leave for an appointment, but look forward to my first RNN live stream. I'm so glad you were able to make it. Um, hi everyone. I'm, I hope you're all having a lovely day so far. American woman, Mulan says we, I'm from South Carolina and we have Crystal as well. One of our members from rainy SoCal. We have a um, Bryn, good morning from East Tennessee, drinking coffee and waiting for Brittany. Hopefully I made it. I've made it relatively on time today at a moment where I was like, I had, I had to switch my lights. I'm going to have to get an extra pair of lights because I want some lights to just sit in front of me all the time. And then ones that I put over there in the corner for filming. So I don't have to, you know, pull them up and down and all the time. I know that sounds kind of, kind of whiny, but sometimes it is nice when I don't have to like adjust them and they just sit where they are. <laughs> I know lazy, lazy things, but uh, Jen says, is Miss Pippa around today? She is currently downstairs on the back of the couch uh, yelling at the neighbors. She's, she's letting them know they can't walk a particular way, you know, because it disturbs her. No, it doesn't, <laughs> but she just, she likes being on puppy patrol. She may come up here again, since I've started leaving the gate open more, she does come up here quite a bit because I've been trying to work up here in my office a bit more because I have more space here. I've been working downstairs for probably too long. Um, and so it's good to kind of have like an office and she does. And I actually had an idea to like create Miss Pippa's own like DIY office in here with like a bed and like all sorts of things. So we shall see if that comes together. Cause I, I don't know that idea popped into my mind. I watched a guy in a golden. I, sometimes he just tickles me. They're just shorts and it's this guy and his golden. My parents have goldens. And so I just, I know the dog. So 
it's very cute, but I'm like, oh, Miss Pippa should have her own little office in the office. She, <laughs> again, stupid, I know, but it just tickles me. All right. Uh, so Lindsay, good afternoon from Scotland. Hello. I can't wait. I'm so excited we're going. I'm so excited we're going. Um, we just made a little bit of adjustment and went ahead and confirmed it early because I kind of made but more people on the confirmation to kind of lower the price. And so they're like, well, let's see, you got 10. Let's go ahead and confirm. So um, we did, and I was just so excited. So it's, so I'm like so stoked because I love Scotland. I can't wait to go back. Uh, Susie said, good afternoon I'm from North Yorkshire. Wolf, wolf, Miss Pippa. Always look forward to Brittany on Saturday. Why, thank you. Yes, yeah, so and Miss Pippa says wolf, wolf this morning. Oh, and um speaking of trips still like the germany czech republic one i'm excited too because that'll be in start in mid-december and um i don't know when it'll officially launch but i'm super excited because before then oh fingers crossed i'm hoping to cover the swedish nobels in person i've always wanted to do that so hopefully that can happen butterbuds the baked good goods good morning from Asheville. and gina says good morning from rhode island have, it's Megan like Reagan uh, says good. It's hi everyone from Las Vegas. We have Mary from Southern Texas and Compass Rose. I'll be in the UK 334 cent seven wonder work. Princess Catherine will be out and about by then. She might be again, keep track of the local, the Royal reporters. They'll say if there's an engagement, uh, usually again, they only announce her engagements a day or two before. And I know at least when I was there for the coronation, it came out the day before that they were going to do an engagement at the dog and duck. So I made sure to get down there to the dog and duck. Um, and so that is, that is how I got my selfie with Catherine. So it was just like, you know, you just had to be on top of it. Um, and so I was super excited for that. So that was an amazing little bit, but yeah, keep an eye out. Obviously the Royals go to Windsor for Easter. I don't know if there is a public viewing area for that. I am not entirely sure. So, but they, uh, Easter is on the 31st. So I hope you have a great trip though. It's a good time of year to go. I'm trying to think if there's anything, can't think of besides Easter, if there's anything else that's like yearly around that time. Um, but again, just keep an eye on future engagements, or you might even go to one where, you know, Sophie or Anne is there. Usually they announce those, you know, like a couple weeks, even a month early. So, uh, John Weathersby, hello from Mississippi. Love your videos. Why? Thank you, John. So glad you enjoy them. Think of a positive term for where is Kate? Yes, Kate is, I mean, she's recovering, guys. My goodness. I don't know, not to you guys, but like the broader public. I mean, because this made it into mainstream publications. Where is Kate? Well, I think they told us she was going to be out until Easter. And I believe it is not Easter yet. Anyways. <laughs> uh, Hero Chick says, I've been uh, up since 4 a.m. Eastern cleaning, <laughs> listening to you. I thought entered, and if Harry and Meghan lose their titles, they can go on commoners, formerly known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, like the singer Prince. I like that. I like that. I mean, they just. <sighs> I mean, I think this needs to be a whole part of maybe a couple ideas for a video, but like to me, it's like if they really want to succeed, like they need to stop using the royal titles. They just need to do that. I just don't think it behooves them in any sort of way to constantly harp on them. All that reminds people is that they're not really royal anymore and they're desperate to be royal, even though they didn't really want to be royal. Oh, Terry says the mic sounds good. Good. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping this is technically a, a much, much better mic than what I had before. <laughs> I just had a little Yeti thing, which I mean, the Yetis aren't bad, but um, I just wanted a, this is what the professionals use. <laughs> so, and I was so bummed I couldn't get it from, I was so worried I had, would have to order this mic again and I would feel bad. Has anyone heard what kind of surgery the Prince of, of Wales has? I'm a, a concerned about her long recovery. They told us it was abdominal surgery. And given that the recovery time is so long, I imagine it was pretty, uh, not extensive, but in, rather invasive. I don't think it was a particularly pleasant procedure. And it takes a while. Like when I broke my foot, I was non-weight bearing for at least until I think mid-February and I broke it in early December. That's a long time. That's, you know, that's a two solid months. And I think I was still wearing the boot pretty solidly until maybe March or like late March. Cause I took the boot with me to California cause we were going to California for vacation. And I was like, well, maybe I can get in the rides early on Disneyland. If I like, like, Oh my foot. And I think we did. I think we did. I think we did. 
we used no, not abused because technically it did hurt, but we utilized my boot to get in a scooter. And so we could get to the front of the lines for a little bit. They stopped doing that by the way. But, um, I just thought, yeah. Anyways, a new logo. Nice. Yes. This, well, you guys couldn't see it before very well. So my parents got this for me for Christmas, which was very cute. Um, and so it, but it didn't show up on the live streams, which is like the most perfect place. So, um, we'll, we'll have to see when I get the, my other camera set up and working technically this one, um, cause th that gives you the best image for a video, um, for a live stream. Kayla says hello from Fort Lauderdale. Hello, one of our members. We have a Katarina from Finland. Good evening. And you, your new president, you have a new president because all the royals were congratulating the new president. Your new president is going to undergo a stay visit to Sweden in April. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, what is time? Is it Eastern time? 10 a.m. Eastern time. It's now 1027. So that came in at 1003. So I came behind guys. Uh, but I just try to answer so many questions and there's only so many, so much time is, I mean, yeah. All right. Jill C. Death is so sad. He was a noted military man. He was, it's just very, very sad. The whole situation is so sad and, um, so tragic, especially for Lady Gabriella. They'd only been married like a little less than five years. So sad. Megan says new, new setup. Yes. Melissa says, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Kexlar said, so exciting. The Princess of Wales will be back next month. Yes, we have like 29-ish days or so until hopefully we see her again. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, prayers that she is out um, for, for Easter. I think that would be awesome. Uh, good morning from Portland, Oregon. And Maggie Raynor said, PTSD, I think, sadly. Yes, that is what... Um, uh, well, we don't know for sure, but it, it appears that he did take his own life. Asma says, love the new logo. Yes. Yes, you guys can actually see it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> can hear you clearly. Thank you. Good after, mor uh, morning from Toronto, Canada. Our elemental. Good morning, Brittany. Nice to be here. And we have Trina. Good morning from snowy Alberta. I got a dump of snow last night with Catherine surgery. I'm tired of the press conniching about her. Yes, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm just tired of it. I'm like, they told us she would be out until basically April. And then, then just, I, I get it. Um, and I think too, if, like, I think it depends too on your personal experience with surgery and stuff. Like you kind of, I think too, because when I broke my foot because I was non-weight bearing, I had to be on crutches for a while, a long, a decent amount of time, a while. And everything was like, I understood. I understand. It's like, you just don't want to go out necessarily. Like everything is harder. And so it's like, yeah. Uh, uh, this fan says keeping the Kents and Lady Gabriella in my prayers. Yes. It's just so sad. So unbelievably sad. Yeah, Jenny, Brittany, and Saturday a.m., 7 a.m., my constant. I'm so glad, Jenny. Thank you so much for being a member and sticking with us, especially so early. I know for the, the West Coast people, it's really early. For the East Coast people, it's a little better. And then we have, like, obviously the U.K. as well. It's 3 o'clock. Other people, it's like midnight. So there's just not a totally good time. But I'm like, super excited about maybe um, the new program we'll hopefully have. Susie says, good morning, Brittany. Excited about Scotland. Yay! One of our one of our Scotland folk. I'm so excited, Susie, that you are going. It's going to be awesome, by the way. It's going to be so totally awesome. And it's so busy. I looked at the itinerary again and I was like, wow, we do stuff like every single day. We're gonna get such an amazing overview of the whole country and we'll be pl places I haven't been. Um, I spent a lot of time in Edinburgh. And so I know how to get around there pretty easily. But other places, I, I just haven't been at all. So I'm so excited. This fan says, sending prayers to the Kents and Lady Gabriella. Was Queen Elizabeth II, Lady Gabrielle's godmother, seemed really close when looking at the wedding pictures? My goodness, you know what? I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. But Lady Gabrielle, obviously, the Kents are close to the royals. You know, um, Lord Frederick Windsor, who's Lady Gabrielle's older brother. He was pretty close to uh, William. And so I just think the families are generally close. We obviously have as well, um, Lord Frederick Windsor, his wife, Sophie, was in a car accident and she was very ill. And like Charles came and like 
offered his, I think his, his cooking staff to her to help make meals because she couldn't really do anything. She had like really damaged her spine. And so I just think there's um, a lot of love between the Windsors um, in, in the, that, with that particular family. So I'm sure this is really, really hard. And, uh, you know, Lady Gabriella, to me, she's always just a very, very classy figure. So classy, so elegant. So I just feel so bad for her. She got married older in life. And, oh, goodness gracious is me. It's just so sad. Just goes to show, too, you never know what's going on in somebody's heart, in somebody's life. So uh, Helen says, a good morning from Space Coast of Florida. Hello. We have Fire Elemental, Ohio. Hooray. Um. Hey, everyone, a million is in the house and a million is in the house. Hello. We have Mary as well. Good morning from Southern California. Marcel. Hi, Brittany. Good morning, everyone. Maggie Raynor says, very, very sad. It is. And we have Asma says, why is the media defending Harry and Meghan? I don't know. Like, again, sometimes it's the Hollywood thing. I scratch your back, you scratch my back. They do obviously have a pretty intense PR team from whatchamacallit. Uh, WME, but they really work for Megan, not Harry. So I I don't know, but yeah, some, and some too, it's just, you know, politics preference and the U S media by and large is like wholly ignorant when it comes to how Royals work, like the amount of ignorance when it comes to like actual royalty and how royalty functions in the American media. It's just sad guys. It's just sad. Okay, so let's keep going. And we have Kate. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Candace, good morning, everyone. And Brittany tuning in from Oklahoma. Hello. We have Gemstone Girl. Morning from Bath, UK. I went to Bath the first time I went to Europe. I haven't been back, but I've always really wanted to go. Shadish says, good morning from rainy Virginia. We have American Woman. It's very sad. They were a beautiful couple. They were. Uh, Kaza Swan says, love seeing the 2017 clip of William explaining his boundaries with the press. I would probably have to look at that again, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And what's so good about what Catherine and William do is that they don't really, they're so good at inviting the press and everything. So uh, Sylvia says, good morning from Conception, Texas. It almost looks like Conception, Texas. I remember seeing that at first before reading. I was like, let's say Conception, Texas. <laughs> but that is so cool. I don't, I could be totally pronouncing it wrong. Kimberly says, I have no idea where Harry and Meghan's support comes from. I can't believe people haven't washed their hands of them. Me either at this point. I mean, but so here's the thing too. The media gets clicks from them too. And so the media sort of plays into it because they get something too. Laura says, hi, Brittany. Can the appeals court in the UK decide not to hear this new appeal? You know, I am not familiar with the UK legal system. I find it a little bit confusing. So I wouldn't really be able to say if somebody else knows if you are a savant when it comes to the English political system and you know exactly what is going on, then yes, let, let everybody know. Cause I definitely, I don't, I do not know. Um, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not familiar. So I wouldn't be able to say, and I'd probably be wrong. Like the only thing I know for certain is because I read a book about it is that it was um, History on Trial, which I thought was a really good book. I think Denial ended up being the movie made out of it with Rachel Weisz. And it is sort of that she was being sued, I think, for defamation. And she had to prove that what he was saying was wrong. So rather than the burden of proof being on the prosecution, the burden of proof was on the defense. And so that I remember that kind of being legally different than the U.S., obviously. But that is, that is the extent of my knowledge, guys. Um, so Heather, hi, Brittany. And and everyone from Georgia, hello. I'll said it's unbelievably sad. It is. Oh, your background looks great. Why, thank you. I need to get the that that shelving. It's a shelving unit. I need to get that fixed. Um, because I lost the screws for the shelves. So <laughs> it's on shelves right now. So it will have sh um shelves soon. So it'd look awesome. Crystal says, Does Lady Gabriella have children with her husband? She does not. She is 42 now. So she was older when she got married and he was 45. So they do not have children. Although she could be pregnant. I don't know. Jessica says, Good morning at, from much warmer Wisconsin this week. Hello, Fire Elemental. Did they have any idea um, the husband was suicidal or even depressed? We don't know that yet. And again, that hasn't been officially confirmed. I mean, it's a strongly likely, strongly likely. Um, but we, the the coroner's inquest has just stated that 
he was found deceased from a gunshot wound, essentially severe head trauma. And um, it, it sounds like too, he had gone to lunch with his parents and then his dad had left to walk the dogs. I can't remember what his mom was doing and they couldn't find him. And he had locked himself in the outhouse. It sounds like, cause they couldn't get in right away. They had to break in. So again, really does sound like he took his own life. So um, yeah. So uh, Brian says hello from Sheffield, UK. Caxlar said he took his own life. It was confirmed. I haven't seen that quite yet. Maybe I missed that this morning. But yeah, somebody said like sort of what they said was basically euphemistic for that. But um, so yeah, uh, what a tragedy. I believe he was around. He was 45. So she was 42. He was 45. Uh, Alice says, love the light up sign. Yes. And it actually can change colors. So I have a whole remote so I can make it. Um, I can make it different colors. Ah, isn't that fun? Ah, okay. Oh, we'll make it orange. <laughs> uh, Brenda says, a first time being able to see you live. Hello, Brenda. Thank you. And we have Melissa, Crystal, W, no children. Right, I'm to very sad. Me gain as uh, suicidal is not your phony baloney. Yeah. I'll say that, but yeah. Megan's. So again, can't say definitively. You never know. But Megan's always struck me when she like shared her whole story about that on Oprah. It just sounded even at the time to me very manipulative. And she's like, well, I already decided not to, but I needed you to know that I was thinking about it. I like it just, mm, I don't like that. Uh, it just sounds very much like, well, I was thinking about it and I decided not to do it. So I was thinking about maybe strongly. And so I, um, just wanted you to know that so you could feel guilty is actually kind of what she did. Terry says, hello from Texas. Hello. We also have Helen Walker. I'm praying for Lady Gabriella and all the family and friends. Yes. So sad. Jennifer says, um, a good morning, lovely. I don't know if he committed suicide. Seems suspicious. Either way, prayers for the family. Yes. We have Beth. Hello from Lincoln, UK. Vera um, it's not something to be trivialized. Definitely not. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we get more details at some point, um, just because I feel like every time you do learn something, so that's always a good thing that maybe it can help somebody else. But, um, if not, and they keep it private, totally understand. Jill C says, keeping the RF in my prayers. Yes. It's been a rough 2024 for the Royal family. It really has. I was going to do a video on that too. I may do that a bit later, but it's been a rough 2024. Uh, Priyanka says, it's been sad to see the Royals are facing issues one after another. Yes. Uh, your light box needs a spot too. Yes. So we will, it, I mean, again, this is like work in progress. So we will, and I think this, this looks a little blown out. It'll look better when we get like the right camera up and running. It's Megan, like Reagan says, I need to actually go to a soup kitchen every day and hope someone mentions they did it for them, not putting off putting out a puff piece. Yes. I think Harry and Megan, their greatest challenge that you keep seeing over and over and over and over again is that they just do these puff things all the time. It's always puff. It's always like, well, we'll do P more PR. And it's like, no, 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 don't do more to PR. Like do something, do something. I know I probably say that way too much, but it is so true. Do something. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. So I'm just writing myself a note. Um, it's like, do something. I just don't understand why Harry and Megan just can't seem to do that. Because it's just something that's so just important and critical. Because I think one thing that sings them constantly is that they they just just don't seem to do anything. They, they're professional. Uh, what do I call them? Professional useless people. Like, they just don't do anything. Um, Ritz says, did anyone notice Meghan Markle's trip to the ski resort with pals? Oh, I forgot about that. Looks fake. No mention of her or poor Photoshop's trip. Yeah, it was it was a little odd. And again, too, supposedly maybe the kids were there, but we didn't see them. But again, it looks like she took a vacation without her kids again. And, sh and then she'll complain that, you know, she um, she's, you know, she's having to, you know, keep she won't go to the UK because, oh, I can't leave my kids. But, you know, she'll go to wherever and leave the kids. So it's like, ah, the stuff just drives me bonkers. It's like you need to be consistent. Pick one lane. Pick one lane. You can't be one or the other. All right. Um, Tori says, good morning. Good morning. Um, Asma says, please don't involve M with the death of Thomas Kingston. Some people are doing that. I just think it's 
discussing the people that do. Water says, or well, not really her, but I think the Sussex stands are making up total random BS. Um, and Amalian says, Laura Tully, the appeal might not even get that far. The judge that did the review was has to okay it going to appeal. Oh, that's interesting. I love him looking at going, no, no. And oh gosh, I, it was on Twitter and somebody said too bad. So sad. So there's actually a phrase I learned. It was in elementary school, I think in third grade, which is it's too bad. So sad. Love dad. It was like this story about this kid who had done something. And then he was asking his father for help or assistance or something. And it was like, you know, mistake he had made or whatever. And the dad's like, well, too sad. So sad. He wrote a note back going too sad. Too bad. So sad. Love dad. <laughs> I was like, love that. Parliamental Ritz, a totally faked pick. I don't know, but it's just, yeah. Um, Shan Jennifer Simmons, love, love your new setup, girl. Why, thank you. Kaxlar said, so exciting for the Princess of Wales calendar events for next month. Hope so. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, Jilly says, not everything is Photoshopped. I do believe she likes to get away from home. I do, I do think so, too. Here's the thing, too, about Megan, which is odd, is that you never, ever see her in candid moments when the paparazzi catch her with her kids. And so it's like, so, I mean, number one, it seems like then, of course, everything that she does is a setup, which I think most of the time it is. But it also begs the question, um, does she ever go out with her kids? If she ever is caught unawares and she still doesn't have her kids, is she ever with her kids? Because Jennifer Garner is out with her kids all the time. Now, granted, I don't know if, you know, she calls them to follow her because most of the time I think that's kind of how things happen anymore. Or if they just know her routine so well because she's like, well, I have to live my life and I'm going to do this whether you like it or not. If that's her her way of doing things, mad props to her for sure. But um, she's with her kids all the time. And so it's just my thing with Harry and Megan is you either need to talk about your kids and show yourself being with your kids. Or you need to stop talking about them all together and then they can be as private as they want to be. I don't like the uh, notion of every conversation or speech or whatever going as a father, as a mother, as a parent. And I'm like, but I never see you with your kids. Like just from a, a, a standpoint of like a, a marketing thing, it's like, it doesn't work. So anyways, that is my little pet peeve. <laughs> For what it's worth. All right, we have Alice. Thank you so much for the tip. Hi, Britt. Um, do you think part of the security case is Megan has put Harry in a bind? She won't bring the kids to the UK with no security, and she knows they won't get it, so she gets her way. I kind of think so. I, I do agree with that. I think that's kind of it's it's Megan's sort of fail safe because she can go. Well, they won't give us security. We can't go, Harry. It's too dangerous. And he's like, okay. Um, and so they just don't ever go. Which I think is so sad because, again, I think it's wildly overblown, this idea, this notion that she, that they need 24-7 security. They don't. They really, really don't need that. Um, I, I think they're perfectly fine. Even in California, I think they're probably perfectly fine most of the time. Most of the time. Um, it's just one of those things where, yeah, I just, I think she uses it to get out of going to the UK and it just continues to go. So. Oh, Janine says, uh, I read an article blaming Megan for the possible um, um, Thomas Kingston situation. Yeah, uh, people who go there, no, no, absolutely not. It's just, I just don't understand. Azimuth says, was it your name on the package? Why, yes. Yes, it was. So it should have been given to the right person, but apparently I don't order enough. So she didn't even think to double check and make sure she put it in the right box. And B, the other person did open it. And knew it and knew it wasn't cheap. And so I was like, if they weren't asked about it, were they just going to keep it and sell it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little kind of like, okay. <laughs> uh, people are so shady. Be a good person and give people their packages. Yeah, that's what I would do. Like as soon as I opened it, I realized it wasn't mine. Because like that can happen. And be like, oh. Um, one time I actually 100% got shipped something with my name on it. I'm pretty sure from Amazon. That was like totally not what I ordered. And I, I just kept. It was like some weird, like technical stuff. I didn't know what to do with it. But yeah, this is just like, they, I think they were going to keep it. <laughs> so Sumi says they thought they got a free microphone. I think so. Even though it's like a couple of houses down, like seriously, just walk down and give it to me. Um, I, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> Melissa Crawford says, nope, they were going to keep it. 
as as she said, as EG says, oh no, what happened? Well, I I ordered this. They put it in the wrong parcel box. Well, they didn't give me to the parcel box. They put this in, and I went to the mail box. Like while the mail carrier was opening things the next day, it wasn't there, and she went to a different house, and she went to a house and got it. Yeah. <laughs> Your address is on the box, so stinkers, we're going to steal it from you. I think so. I think so. Well, I mean, it was in their box, so I understand why they picked it up and maybe didn't realize until they opened it. But, like, once you opened it and realized it wasn't your product, wouldn't you think you'd try to go, oh, wait. Because I've done that before, too. They've given, I've picked up mail, and I'm just opening it, and I'm going, oh, wait, this isn't mine. And then I realize, oh, this belongs to somebody else, and I give it to them. So... Post is always a lottery, yes. Porch Pirates, Ugh, had a lot of situations. It actually wasn't Porch Pirates. It was literally the mail carrier put it in the wrong locker and did not give me the key. So there was just nothing I could even do. I didn't even, like, it wasn't even in front of my house. Um, so, Beth, there's absolutely no way they would have given you the package back to you. Probably would have sold it. <laughs> so, so glad I got it back though, because I was just, I just didn't want Amazon too, because like this is expensive. I didn't want to go Amazon going, well, no, that's not the threshold of things we can, re you know, replace. And be like, no, but I ordered it. I'm out all this money. And I'm like, ah, oh. because most of the time too, Amazon stuff gets delivered to your front porch. And I work from home, so I can get anything. American Woman says that happened to me and my neighbors all the time. We are forever giving each other's packages. Oh, it's so, so true. Jane Buck says that happened to me and I never got my package. I'm still bummed about it. Yes. Shishan says, nope, they were keeping it. That's kind of what I thought. <laughs> Rocket Garden says, I can't believe they opened your package. Yep. <laughs> um, ha good morning from Georgia, US. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hello. Oh, we have Terry who gifted five Rail News Network memberships. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. People um, are able to um, sign up. That's awesome. Especially those who are like maybe on the fence, not sure. Mm. Yeah, honest people want to uh, open something they didn't order. Yeah, if I had not, if I got something and I knew I hadn't ordered something, I'd look at it going, wait, why did I get this? Lizzie says, I would have mentioned them that the mail theft is a federal crime. Yeah, probably. Uh, so they open the package with your name on it. Isn't that illegal? Technically, yes. But maybe if they get, the, apparently they get a lot of packages. So maybe, just maybe they were like, well, and they they opened it without thinking. Again, I've done that with other pieces of mail. So anyways, people see it as a victimless crime. Welcome to No Trust Society. Yes. That's why I was like so freaked out because I was like, oh my gosh, did they open, like it's in their mailbox. Like there's nothing I can do if it's in their mailbox. Like it's, it, you know, even though their name's not on it, you know, they'll look at it going, well, it's kind of theirs. <laughs> uh, only me, baby, says, mark your calendars, Easter. Catherine will be out until then. Why is this so hard? Don't know, no, no about it. Don't know why. Uh, SEJ says, set up, I forgot who got you that sign. I love it. Yes, it was my parents. My parents, um, they got me that sign. Uh, Susie Q says, I know they saw your name on the box and opened it anyways, and they're going to keep it or give it to someone they know. Um, so fire elemental says, Brittany, what city are you broadcasting from? I don't really share because I think that's easier. Uh, Mima says a good morning, everyone. Hello. We have from Northern Vancouver, um, uh, water isn't opening some other people's mails illegal. It is. All right. We have Crystal just made a high from Florida. Everyone, they're not planning on giving it back. What do you think of starting of uh, the use of Mr. and Mrs. Sussex? Sussex. Oh, just so tacky. I mean. Again, I just really wish they would just kind of get away from just using titles altogether. Like, just be yourselves. But they can't do it. They can't do it because they got nothing. The guys, they have absolutely nothing. They they can't do it because they don't have anything to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Marcel says, I had my package delivered to the wrong apartment with my name and correct address, but my neighbor never gave it back to me. Oh, isn't that so aggravating? Bella says, good morning from sunny and freezing Wales. Hello. We have butter bean queen. I like that. Yay. I finally made a live. Hello. Um, Mrs. Ryan says, hi, it's my first time on an RNN screen. Hello, stream. Hello. So glad you were able to make it. Ritz says, morning to sweet Miss Pippa. Yes, she is sleeping on the couch and down the stairs, watching the neighbors, making sure nobody steps out of line. Nobody steps out of line with Miss Pippa on patrol. Uh, Heather says, good morning from Alabama. Hello. 
Uh, Lena says making breakfast for kids and listening to a live. Finally. Hello, everyone. Hello. And so we do have a couple more. We have Becky. So sweet. Jessica. We have Shaz. Hello. We have SEJ. Uh, good morning. We have a Niners girl again. Hello. We have yo red. Hello. Um, tragedy at the palace. Oh, no, definitely not. Uh, talking about Thomas Kingston, the husband of lady Gabriella Windsor. Uh, Pauline says we won't, <laughs> we don't want to hear you and Megan back. I don't think anybody wants them. <laughs> Susie Q says tolls bother you because trolls bother you because you're hitting the target. Yes. Well, and I, I, I think I said tragedy trolls and trolls in regards to Catherine and the where is Kate thing. I think it did where is Kate last week. So sometimes it's hard because it's like a story continues week after week. And I was like, well, how do I put that in the thumbnail for the live? I just don't know. But yes. Ugh. Jen Jen says everyone is, seems to be losing their minds about Catherine and William this week. People get sick and deserve to recover in peace. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. Shan says, are you in Texas? I am not in the great state of Texas. But I have been to the great state of Texas. Uh, Fire Elementa says, Brittany, the more successful they come, the more trolls and stories about you from my experiences. Yes, I've sort of noticed that. It's, it's interesting because you get it almost from all sides. So I just do my best to ignore things. Uh, Peggy says, good morning from beautiful sunny Michigan. And my 87-year-old dad is out golfing today. That is awesome. Go, dad. My grandfather golfed, I think, until his mid-80s. So golfing is a wonderful sport. I do play it. I need to get out and play. Um, Market Garden says, good morning from Ohio. Dreary day, but good for a fire in the box. Sounds good. Denise says, one, one constant Saturday morning, Brittany. Hello. Yes. Margaret, I think um, Harry and Megan are starting to get more desperate, although I'm appalled by the nagging Catherine for a photo. It must be bugging Megan that they aren't covering her as much as she thinks they should. Yeah, I think she always feels that way. But again, she she also too always wants them to cover like her positively and that people aren't always doing that, I think really miffs her. And they're not calling, you know, um, they're not covering her the way she believes they should be covering her. And so she's just obsessed with the press attention and everything. And, you know, it shows it really does. And so it's just very, very sad and pathetic and desperate. All right. And we have Louise Anderson. So I would, I would say this Danish crone. Um, oh yes. Um, thank you so much for the tip. Can we talk about King Harold and his fragile health? Yes. So apparently King Harold of Norway, he is suffering from an infection. I feel like we hear about these every couple of months from him. He's not doing super well. And he was in Malaysia on vacation and apparently um, suffered from another infection. And so they are actually putting in a temporary pacemaker so he can make the trip back to Norway. So, so sad to hear him not doing well. I think the Norwegian Royals, just, they just seem like a hoot and a half. They just seem like so laid back and chilled. And so it's just so sad to see him struggling that much. He actually fell a couple of times while he was on a state visit to Denmark. And so it was just so sad. And so, um, he, like, there's a part of me that's like, don't you want to maybe like, you know, abdicate? And so you can kind of, you know live your last couple of years and uh, without, you know, the stress of being King, but I understand why he doesn't want to. Um, I totally understand, respect that. But at the same time, I do feel sad because I feel like he's, he's, um, he's struggling a lot. So I hope he feels better soon and that he's able to make the trip safely back to Norway and just recovers very, very quickly. Cause in Malaysia, I mean, I guess it depends on where he was. Um, and, you know, because I, I just can't help but think of like a tropical bug or something he might have picked up. All right. And we do have Aletha as well. McFar uh, McFarland, um, Catherine's returning, uh, return Megan breaking dishes. Can't wait. Yes. Megan will just be so, so annoyed when Catherine returns. But. If Megan still gets a ton of press coverage, but it will always be negative. Um, I had somebody talking to me, um, you know, I because I called out people who are making these terrible accusations about Thomas Kingston and everything. And somebody's like, well, you know, you talk about Harry and Megan and you're adding to the toxicity. And I was like, no, no, no. The toxicity stops and ends with Megan. Because trust me, there were differences of opinions on royals. There were some things that weren't said nicely about various royals, but the toxicity, oh, Harry and Megan were really the forefront of that so megan will not be happy when she has to compete again 
And we have Marsha. Thank you so much for the tip and being a member. I really do appreciate it. And we have Anya as well. Hi, Anya. Thank you so much for the tip this morning. And we have Kari. Good afternoon from Norway. And we have Debbie. Good morning, everyone from rainy San Diego. Okay. So funny thought, and I mentioned meant to mention this in the video and I totally forgot. How funny is it? I feel like the last couple of years, California has had horrendous weather in the winter, like rain, 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 like so many like blood warnings, like every year it feels like since they moved there. And so I almost feel like Harry and Megan brought this cloud of despair to California. <laughs> is that too much? Is that too much? I think that's funny. All right. We do have Kyle. Thank you so much for the tip. I wish folks would just leave Catherine alone. Andrew sure looked full of himself. Good morning from a surfer lost in the Midwest. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's hard. I, I don't think you find much surf and sand in, in the North, in the Midwest. Um, but when it comes to um, Catherine, yes, leave her alone. I just, it, they gave us a timeline. The timeline makes sense. And so I'm just not that miffed about it. And then when it comes to Andrew, yeah, he enjoyed not having, I think anybody there. I know some people were defending him and stuff. And I just didn't quite understand. Cause he definitely was like him and Fergie were like thrilled to death to be the first people there. They know exactly what they're doing. They're very much like Harry and Megan that way. And we have Anya as well. I'm sort of glad her majesty is not here to live through this year. The RF, she deserved the RF at their best because she was always at hers. Yes. I think that's a great way to put it. I would not wish this time on her majesty at all. I know that would be just so hard for her. Like it's, you know, hard for parents to watch their kids struggle with cancer, you know, no matter what their ages are, that's just really, really hard. And it, it's great for her majesty to go out where everybody's kind of on a high and so even though this might seem like dark days, this might be setting up something great too. So, um, but I'm sure she, her guidance and counsel are well missed. Uh, Jill C says, I wonder if the sugars are behind the rumors. Rumors are much worse since their inception. Yes. Uh, pink pajamas. I like that. You like pink pajamas? I do too. My heart breaks for Lady Gabriella. What a loss for her. Her whole life has changed forever. And I send her my love. Yes, 100%. It's just so sad. It just looks so sad. We have uh, Fabiola. Hi, this is the first time that I catch you live. I love your channel. Greetings from Madrid, Spain. Hello, Fabiola. Uh, I have been to Madrid. It was one time many years ago. It's a beautiful city. I love your archaeology, uh, archaeological museum. It was very, very good. I was only there, I think, for about a day. I'd love to go back because I'd love to cover, obviously, um, King Philippe and Queen Letizia. They do so much. They have so many engagements, so it'd be great to cover them at some point. Susanna, good morning from Delaware. Good morning. <laughs> Private uh, Pirate says, a good morning from Seattle. Woke up early enough to be here today. Yay. I'm so glad. I know it's early. I know it's early. Um, uh, Water8604 said, which king died so sad? So it was, um, so it was kind of kind of a twofer here. So we had King Constantine of Greece who died actually last year and just had a service of Thanksgiving at the chapel at West uh, at Windsor. Most of the Royals attended because there's a close family connection between the Greeks and, and the Windsors and stuff like that. And so there were a lot of people who attended that. But then when it comes to Thomas Kingston, because Kingston is his in his name, he was married to Lady Gabriella Windsor. And she was actually a godchild of King Constantine. So I actually remember my initial post I was like, well, William was supposed to be there and he had to back out last minute. And Lady Gabriella backed out last minute as well. Or Lady Gabriella wasn't there. And I just thought that was odd because I was like, well, she was his godchild. She went to his funeral on her behalf and William's behalf. And so I was like, why, why isn't she there? And then, of course, we get the tragic news. And then you get, of course, the people on social media going, well, didn't you hear? <laughs> you know, her husband died. And I was like, well, I didn't hear when I wrote it. <laughs> like, if you look at the timestamp, it was before that part of it was announced. Anyways, um, wow, it must be, I must really need caffeine in this story. I've already sucked down my first cuppa, about to make my second. Oh, man, let me, um, let me guess. Um, the police confirmed it was by suicide. Nothing suspicious. Important for awareness to tell the truth. Okay, yeah. Um, again, it's just kind of how they word it. I mean, I figured as much, but... Um, Let's see. Um, Marion says, do you think the Invictus Games would have been more sponsors and highlighted if William was heading it? Yes, probably for sure. Um, Invictus Games, 
I like the premise. The premise is good, but I just don't even think even with a better sponsor, I just don't know how sustainable it is. Um, it's just one of those things where it's just, yeah, it just doesn't quite, um, it would do better. I think too, it's just not something where it's going to attract a ton of eyeballs. Uh, and it's just, and I just think it's way overblown for the audience it attracts. Cause I think they want it, Harry and Megan want it to be this huge thing. It's just not going to be that. Um, so, uh, Princess Constantine is relative of Princess Carmela. Yes. And we also have Melissa Crawford. William learned from the best, his grandmother, you don't let the press public into your private matters. You do your job duty, but keep them out of your private personal lives every day. Yes. And I mean, sometimes you do need to let them in a little bit, but it, uh, you know, depends on the situation. Ah, uh, Tita says, a greetings from rainy Budapest, Hungary. You plan on anything in the Asian royal family's histories? Not right now. I have a, a difficult enough time keeping up with the Brits. <laughs> or not just the Brits, but the rest of Europe. Uh, I can't imagine um, expanding at this point. And it's just, it's just so, like, there's just so much. And I just don't know enough. So I, I stick mostly to Europe because that's, you know, the, the place I know the best from a history standpoint, it's, it's the time periods I know the best. I'm still like, there's so many things I don't, don't know and understand, especially because you get so much on the Brits on the other families, just not quite as much. Um, I'd love to know more about, you know, John Baptiste Bernadotte and how he came over from, you know, being a general for Napoleon to becoming king of Sweden. That's just so random to me. And so um, I just was so interested. Uh, hi, Brittany. This is from Anna. I had my new cell phone delivered to me only to have it stolen by the courier driver. Love your channel and your crusade on exposing the horrible grifters. Why, thank you. I thank you. Um, Alice D O'Donnell says all the European royals are related in some way. Pretty much. They generally, a lot of them go back to Queen Victoria. And I've also heard um, Philippe Duke of Orleans. So the, the Catholic branches tend to kind of go back to the Duke of Orleans. So this was the brother of King Louis XIV. And then most of Protestant Europe goes back to obviously Queen Victoria because she had a lot of kids. They all married. And I mean, technically they all married each other pretty much. Like this is, long-standing problem with the Europeans. Um, and, you know, obviously as well, I always, I didn't really even realize this, I think until I was reading a book that, um, you know, Catherine of Aragon, she was the daughter of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain, like the C King Ferdinand and the Queen Isabella of Spain. So they're all very much, obviously that, that line is dead now, but um, very much all intertwined. Uh, I never heard of the Kingstons ever until the news about him. I was aware because I, I followed Lady Gabriella and they, they were just at, um, goodness gracious is me. They were just at um, the, uh, they were in the box with King Charles and Camilla just last year for Ascot. I believe. So it was, um, yeah, they were just in the box with them so it's just like so so sad because it's like wow you just again you just never know what is going on behind the scenes with people but here they are this was just last year so again very close to the family and everything so sad to see him and that is obviously him in the far corner there uh, lady gabriella is in the blue and she is just lovely she's just lovely um so Deborah says, I hope the meanies don't go overboard with Thomas Kingston's death. Obviously horrible um, period. It's just so sad. Yes. And they're already going too far. King Constantine was a first cousin of Prince Philip. Yeah. That's sort of what I was thinking that they probably went back to the King before Constantine somewhere in down there or the grandfather, I guess, technically. Uh, Ritz says, if I hear abdominal surgery one more time, maybe they can keep updates of more generals so that her Royal Highness can rest. I mean, that is pretty specific. And it's good. So we have, uh, Asma says, when is the Duke of Westminster's wedding? So that is June. Let me look at the dates. It's the week before Trooping the Color. So there's a part of me that kind of wants to go in June, but there's also a part of me that kind of wants to cover the Scandinavian tours in May. And I kind of debate and I kind of want to cover this wedding, but I kind of don't. Because <laughs> I can definitely get press credentials probably to the Scandinavian stuff. I'm not quite as sure about the British stuff. They're so picky about that. So his wedding is on June 8th or 7th. When is, I think it's June 8th. Um, 
doctor's wedding. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's just double check and make sure I'm right. Uh, he's it's confusing because they go, he's the seventh Duke of Westminster, but when is he technically getting married? I think it's the eighth, it's a week before. All I know is it's a week before Trooping the Color. Um, Okay, so, sorry, I'm just, June 7th, okay. So it's, he's the 7th Duke of Westminster, and he's getting married on the 7th of June. Maybe that'll help you remember. <laughs> uh, John Alvarez, hi, Brittany, from Yonkers, New York. So that's actually a, hi, John. So that is actually a it's Friday, by the way. Um, so it's up in Chester. So it, it's not a necessarily, I mean, there are some cheap tickets, but it's not necessarily a cheap ticket up to Chester. Uh, I was hoping it was close to closer to London, but it is not. Um, but it will be a big wedding. Basically, all the major royals will be there. They were all there for his sister's wedding. So imagine they would all be there for his in even more in force. <clears throat> Jen Jen says, you want to post all your medical info online? Why is everybody bothering Kate? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's Megan says, Catherine told us to prepare. She would be away until Easter. It's not Easter yet, people. Yeah, that's kind of my thought. I was like, if we were in, e if it was Easter time and we still haven't seen her, then I would be kind of like, well, what's going on? But it ain't Easter time yet. Um, Brianka says, they are entitled to privacy. The media needs to back off. Yes, I just think it was so ridiculous that the palace had to make a couple of statements clarifying that she would, like, this timeline still stands. And I'm like, how are, how are we at here? I don't understand. Okay, we have here another tip poppy cakes. Oh, I love your I love your handle. Hi, Brittany. Love how you add all the royal families to the show. Fashion, European architecture, prayers for the Wales's family. Why, thank you. Yes, and we'll be doing more of that hopefully here very, very soon. I tease, well, I gave kind of um, the members or inside. I'm working on a podcast slash live stream that will be available probably hopefully sometime next month. I need to do a couple of dry runs with it. But the idea is to cover so much of the other royal news that I can't cover during the week because editing takes time. It's it's sort of exhausting. And so I don't want to do it that much. And so I already do like so much. I was like, I don't want to do anymore. But but guys, I can I can add new. Um, I think a live stream would work well and hopefully um, put it on a podcast. Do again. That's why we got the really good mic here. Um, this is actually the most expensive mic I own now. So um, hopefully it comes across well. It's it's different. It's I have Rode mics for my cameras, um, but um, the Sure mic for here, because I think this is the best one. Um, pretty much all the major players in the podcasting game use it. It's supposed to give great sound, so hopefully it sounds good. <laughs> uh, so John Alvarez says, they said that Megan's new picture uh, where she's in the snow is faked. I don't think it's faked. Although somebody said, and I was like, I was looking at the picture going, dang, they're right. That maybe she's pregnant again because she's, um, she only has her jacket zipped or buttoned, um, down to her stomach again. I was like, oh man, does she do the same thing she did at Eugenie's wedding? No, but it would just be kind of funny too. Cause it'd obviously be, um, a, a flip on what they did for um, what Harry said is like, oh, we only want to have two children, you know, the environment and everything. I just thought it'd be kind of funny and ironic if they had three. <laughs> Jen Jen says, why does Harry keep saying he isn't getting security in the UK when that's not true? He does with notice if needed. Yes. Yeah, so he will get security if, so he gives 28 days notice. The Met Police do a risk analysis. If there is a credible threat, he will get security. If there is not a credible threat, he will not get it. And so he will have to have his own security like every other celebrity in the world who lives or visits the UK. He is not immune from that. He wants to be treated like a VIP, like special, but he's just not anymore. Again, the reality is of royal life is that you get your place in the line of succession diminishes over time. This is not a surprise. This is not a... Uh, like should not be a shock in any stretch of the imagination that at some point you're not as special as you were when you started out, because guess what? Your, your nieces and nephews are born. And then all of a sudden you just get boop, 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 and they have kids and then they have kids and then 
that's just how it like you just crater off the line at some point and that again is because i think lady gabriella windsor i don't know where she started off with but right now she's like in the 50s in terms of line of succession and i know she was higher at some point but then william had kids Harry had kids eugenie had kids beatrice had kids zara had kids um you know her brother had kids like it just as more kids just fill up the things that just the lower down you get and especially if you start off lower like you get lower even faster because yeah again it's just so silly okay maureen says happy birthday to sweden's prince oh scary looked adorable in the new pictures oh i didn't see the new pictures oh he's he's so cute he's like a little grump and i love it um <laughs> He's just a, a little bit grumpy sometimes and he just has this little grump face and he's so darling. And I, um, I'm so excited. He had his birthday. I can't wait to see new pictures. I love the Swedish. Uh, I love the Scandinavian Royals in general, guys. They just, oh, uh, they just do a fantastic job giving you pictures to use for editorial purposes, which the Brits do not do. Um, or they put like the Brits go, you can use this for a week. Like they put like extreme restrictions on everything. They kind of suck. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at him. Isn't he darling? Okay. Sorry. I keep talking about him, not showing you guys. So I just wanted to find him real quick first. So, um, whoops. Nope. He's over here. There he is. Isn't he cute? He's a little, little in the little snow fort thing. Uh, so it's his birthday, and we also have him and his sister there in snowy Sweden. And then this is a cute picture of the two of them. This, so it was his sister's birthday just last month. So they just did a couple of oh, little building forts. Oh, isn't this so sweet? Oh, they're growing up so fast. I love how they just give us so much. So this is just literally the Swedish website, and they just give us all sorts of pictures you can use. And so um, I just love that. I just love that. Uh, Lisa says he wants IPP status back. Yes, I think I do think that was a huge part of it. And again, it seems just a way for them to get security wherever they go. And again, they just don't need it. Um, they they have and they have their private security. They have it. Why do they need more? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, uh, we have Poppy Cakes who became a new member. Thank you so much, Poppy Cakes. I'm so glad you joined our little family here and we also have raffaella hugs from italy and un abrigato abrigato okay i shouldn't even try that so i'm so bad at it <laughs> it's megan says pra it's in prague my favorite area is to say we're vino ray and carlin for when you go yay that would be awesome i can't wait cannot wait um quinta says greetings from ecuador love your videos why thank you uh, so we have Ms. Be Kind says, I'm interested in the Christmas tour. I really like to spend Christmas in Europe. Yes. I'll end right before Christmas. And I am super stoked. So I will let you guys know when it officially goes live. Cause we just do, um, can't wait too technically too long to make it live and available to people. But, um, yeah, it, uh, um, it'll be a pretty awesome trip. I think, I think it'll be pretty awesome. There's like, I guess spas or something too. And it'll be so different because Scotland will be in the summer. So it'll be, hopefully have great weather. It'll be in July. So it'll be awesome. And then um, cold in December. Jen, Jen, I hope Catherine is getting lots of well letters like the king and is ignoring all the online. Where is Kate talk? I hope so too. I hope they're not like they're tell telling her just stay offline. Don't look at it. <laughs> um, Deirdre says, I'd, so I want to join the Scotland trip. I'll be spending two weeks in Ireland for my birthday. And that sound, that and that would be three weeks away from work, which is not permitted. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. It's, you got to choose sometimes. And I totally understand. Uh, just It's just, he said, ciao, Italia. Ciao. All right. Um, um, Pines and Prep says, I have had abdominal surgery and it takes quite a while to start feeling well. I think so. I think so. Tracy Brown says, we don't need to see pictures of the Princess of Wales to release a picture to her. True fans can wait. Guys don't want a picture to use and make money to leave her alone. Rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, I, it's not like they have to. It'd just be nice, but I'm totally fine waiting. Um, 
It's Megan says, wow, a lot of people in the chat give Brittany a like to encourage your channel. Why, thank you. SEJ says, Brittany, how do you use a trip and vacation setup company? I didn't even know something like that exists until watching your channel. So I didn't know either until I was watching another YouTuber talking about it. And it's something where I always wanted travel to be part of, if I could do something like this, what I would do. Because to me, especially too, I want this to be, you know, obviously always somewhat educational. Maybe I don't always hit those metrics, but um, I think too, just seeing things and how in the history and everything just helps you understand the region. And that has just always been a bit of my personal uh, opinion on things. And so it's like, to me, travel was important because you don't totally understand, like just to me being in Sweden, understanding where the palace was in relation to where they have the parliament, where they have the, um, the, um, the Nobels and stuff like that, or, you know, where they had the weddings and the balcony appearances, like it just gives you so much more knowledge into how things are set up. Like even just going to and doing trooping the, well, it was technically the Jubilee and the coronation, but just going there, understanding the system, how it works, how to get down there, how to get your pictures and how to be done and everything. Like just all of that was just so important. And, um, the first trip we went to, we went to London. They finally offered a new trip to London, which is hopefully maybe we'll do next year around trooping time. Um, it wouldn't be officially part of the tour, but part of something if people wanted to stay later for that. And uh, at um, and we went to Kensington Palace, our group, and I was able to show them that's where Catherine and William, that's where their home is. And their people are like, oh, wow. And super exciting. And this was just, again, total fluke at the time is we actually saw I was actually as we got out of the train station, I was absolutely sure two employees of the palace were in front of us who worked with Catherine and William. I looked at them and going, I know the two of them. Cause like when you've watched a couple of events and stuff like that, you see the staff members. And so you kind of get familiar with them. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm so, so sure that this is their team. And so when we were there at Kensington palace waiting, all of a sudden a helicopter arrives. And so I'm like mad dashing it over there, which was not easy. Cause I was like, not right in front of Kensington Palace, but I was on the walkway to Kensington Palace, run over to where the field is, because I didn't even actually know where it was totally. And so I ran back there where the field was. We watched somebody get out. And then I got those pictures of Eugenie and um, her family, so her husband and her son, right before she gave birth. So I am the only person I think around who has those pictures. They're not great quality because they have the best telephoto lens because I wasn't expecting to need a telephoto lens that day. Anyways, lots of chit chatting, but just overall, just to show people where the Royals are, where they live, how they get around and stuff like that. Again, changes your perspective on things to see how close things are, how far things are away. Sometimes all that does, I think, add to your understanding of something. So I think that's really important. So yeah, I just happened to hear about it from somebody else. And then it was like, they have tour options. And I'm like, well, I like that one. And they're like, okay. And then you go from there. So it's cool. It worked. It's it's a new, new world, a new way of traveling. And I just think that's so cool. Because like for me trying to, like I could probably technically plan it myself, but I really wouldn't want to. Neely says, good morning, Brittany. Um, why does Harry think he is more entitled to a high ranking security than Prince Anne and Prince uh, Princess Anne and Prince Edward? He's a bit delusional, a bit delusional. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Compass Road, where is the Easter Walk? It's in Windsor. Um, so they they go to Windsor, uh, the St. George's Chapel in Windsor. So they walk down where you see them kind of walking up and down. So if you kind of describe it, so they would just be right at the church. So it would depend on if you're allowed to go into there. Because I know they allow the press in there, but I don't know about the public. Paul says, um, Catherine is entitled to her privacy and she's had an operation that requires time to recover. The palace have already said she'll be out of action until Easter. Yes. 100%. Uh, Lou says, hi, Brittany. Do you think that William not going to the memorial for King Constantine would have been about the sad death of Thomas Kingston? It seems like quite a shock and a drastic event. So supposedly no, but could it have been sort of influenced by something? Maybe, maybe. We're just not entirely sure why. Uh, so it's it's just a sad event either way. So, yeah, I don't know. We shall see. Uh, Siva, thank you so much for the tip. 28 days. No, <laughs> and they will, will they or won't they? Um, yes. And it just, it just gives people time to plan because people have need to plan. You just can't show up randomly and expect them to have this whole thing ready for you. Again, it's just rude and, you know, obnoxious kind of behavior, entitlement, so many things. Peggy says, Peggy Ann um, became a YouTube member. Why, thank you, Peggy. I'm so excited that you've joined. And we also have Peggy, a uh, different Peggy, Peggy Spurgeon. 
Here is a little tip treat for Miss Pippa. I oh, love the new setup and the microphone sounds great. Have the Wales' children been seen recently? They have not. And again, I don't, unless they're on an official engagement, I don't really, you know, they're kids. So, and I mean, it's always lovely to see them when we do. Obviously, we have some birthdays coming up in April, May, and then in July, but that'll be a little bit. So, yeah, I'm just, I don't know why, but I'm just like totally like, she needs surgery. She's recovering. The kids are in school. It's all fine. And I'm glad the mic sounds good. So, yes, I will get some Miss Pippa, some treats. And, yes, I was hoping this mic would sound good. <laughs> Just because, yeah. Um, Asma says, Harry hates the media but believes the media says about Diana. So true. So true. It's so it's so ironic. It's so ironic. Uh, Missy Lulu says, I personally believe where the ha um, where is H hashtag is toxic. Mainstream media and the disgusting sugars are behind the attack. Shame, shame. Yeah, because, like, but it's... It, yeah, I just don't understand why the mainstream media is picking up on it. It's just so dumb. Like, that was my thing in the video that I filmed yesterday and then couldn't get out. I was just like, this is stupid. Because it is. It's stupid. <laughs> um, Mullen says, hi, Brittany. So excited to finally make a live. I hope I love your take on everything from South Carolina, USA. Why, thank you. Uh, Mar Mary Marie says, Harry could have made his platform about wearing seatbelts and not drunk driving, but instead, yep, that's where he should be. That's what he should be doing. So much better message. Allison says, good morning from NYC. Congrats on the maiden voyage into podcasting. Why, thank you. We haven't quite actually technically did a podcast before, way before I even started the channel. Um, but, um, I just didn't have enough time to, it felt very overwhelming to me at the time. And so I'm super excited though, to get into this and just have this. And hopefully I'm excited to see where the possibilities go and getting it all set up. So we are still in the process. We're getting there, but it's good. Renee, um, Renee says, hi, Brittany. Hi, everyone from Guatemala. Uh, the letter Harry wrote to Ryvik was just so horrible. It comes across so petulant. It does. It does. He's a brat. I mean, really, that's, that's the only thing you can say is that he's kind of a brat. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, this is what I wanted to hear. Cast Cal. It's a better mic. Didn't hear the sip. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Um, it's because I just thought if it was like, doesn't it pick up on some of the, you know, other voice noises quite so much, that would be 100% worth it because you don't want to spend, ugh, there's nothing more annoying than spending time editing out breaths. The sound weird. It's so, so annoying. <laughs> so if this mic doesn't do that, that, I mean, <laughs> 100%. Jensen says, does Megan have a stylist? Her outfits are always baggy. Maybe she needs a new stylist to help. Uh, well, the thing is, her and Harry have control issues. She's part of it, and he does too. And so they don't like hearing any criticism or any support. So, yeah, they don't. And so she looks bad. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys see the new picture? This was on Twitter. Somebody posted. I was like, oh, my gosh. How in the world? And I just don't try. Um, I, I like... I'll generally give something a chance, but this is honestly one of the, like Ma the way Meghan Markle wrecks Dior is just mind boggling to me. Uh, cause I love Dior. I think Dior fashion, especially it's very feminine and it, it needs a feminine silhouette, which Megan doesn't have, but this is supposedly a Dior shirt. This is Megan and Whistler, a Dior shirt. Like a, it looks awful. It just looks awful. And I know designer stuff can look awful, but this looks like generally like, I don't know what she's wearing. And it's wrinkled. <laughs> and it's like such a plain, ugly outfit. How does she wreck Dior? I just don't understand, guys. I just don't understand. Oh, Janice, thank you for becoming a YouTube member. We are so excited to have you. <laughs> John Alvarez says, why is Megan so bitter? Because she couldn't be queen. <laughs> Even though that was like totally 100% clear from the jump that she wasn't going to be queen. I think she's still miffed she's not going to be queen. Uh, so Marion says love from Liverpool. Thank you. Terry says, I think people need to leave Catherine alone while she recovers from surgery as a society. We've gotten so too noisy, leave her alone and let her recover and rest. Yeah, I think that's true. I think especially with the advent of social media, people do get tend to get a little bit obsessed with trying to, um, investigate things. So, <laughs> and it's Megan says, what are good souvenirs to get from Scotland? Um, so Heather, Anything Heather related is good. I got a cute scarf from Scotland. So anything tartan, something like that. And I can't remember if there was something else. 
it's been a while since I've been. But I remember anything like related to Heather was a big deal because they have like huge Heather fields and stuff. So hopefully maybe the, some of those will be in bloom when we're there, especially when we're driving up in the Highlands. That would be awesome. Uh, Deandra says, hi, Brittany, love your live board in the back. It looks lovely. What are some of the strange things people are saying about where is Catherine? I mean, some of them I almost don't want to repeat because they're they're so awful. Like people have people have proposed like abuse scenarios like that she's dead like so many like ugly random things and i'm like i don't how did a like it, i mean they gave us a fair amount of information she had abdominal surgery she'll be out until until april i don't understand how that resulted in stuff it's just like i don't get it i so don't get it <laughs> Nana says Pippa, Pippa needs a little throne to sit beside Brit. Oh, I know. Well, I just think a little like cute office setup would be so cute. Like Jilly says, Pippa needs an office. LOL. She does. Says she needs like a mimic, like an office that mimics mine. She'll probably never sleep in there, but just, well, sometimes she comes up and sleeps in the bed um, in here. Or I have a blanket on the floor because I was using a blanket the other day. And sometimes she'll, she's like, oh, I like the blanket. Pippa needs a little throne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but needs an office. Oh, yeah. I know that Channel Tucker is a dog's name. Uh, Teddy. Teddy. There's Teddy. Because <laughs> he has Teddy Tuesday. It's so cute. And I'm like, darn, I should have named my dog. At, like, had the, the day of the week in my dog's name. Cause, yeah. <laughs> so shell says no Brittany. i have a part-time job from home my fur baby has his own bed in my office do it yeah i just wanted to have like something really cute because my mom keeps saying i do technically have an instagram for for pippa i started years ago and um didn't really go anywhere and i just feel like if i had like a cute setup for her like i could really do something because <laughs> she's so expressive <laughs> Um, Maria says, no, Brittany, her own little office with a little camera on top right corner for your screen would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> As she could tell me, you need to work more. <laughs> Jen just says, do you think someone at the NYPD was paid to write that letter? It's the exact opposite of everything I've heard about the NYC. Jason said, I don't know. Cause it got weird because somebody said the New York post said that wasn't actually what was in the letter. And then a letter was published where it was exactly what was said. And then, yeah. So I don't know. Either way, I think it was vastly overblown what happened to Harry and Meghan. Like, I really do think, like, again, from a security standpoint, why in the, what, what sense in the world does it make to put your principles in a taxi cab that is fully visible from the outside and in the, like, without like trying to disguise them in any sort of way? Like, why does that make any sense? And they did this all nonsense just because they didn't want them to follow them to wherever they were staying. I was like, but if I'm the NYPD and I was like, just go home. Like, why are you guys being butts about this? Just go home. Then they'll go away. Well, we don't want them to know where we're staying. I was like, well, they know where everybody else in all the other celebrities are staying in New York. Like, what's the issue? And so again, and the question is, what is the true issue of the situation? Yeah. Oh, I just, we just have a visitor. We have a visitor. Oh, hold on, you gotta get up, baby. There we go. There's Miss Pippa. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Oh, we need all the kisses, I guess. We need all the kisses. Okay. Well, your face is kind of blocked. Everybody wants to see you. Come over here. There we go. Ah, oh, isn't she cute? <laughs> oh, and she got a little harness now that matches her collar. So she has crowns on her collar. And so now she has a harness that matches and a leash for no other reason than I kind of wanted the leash in case I needed it for some reason. So, oh my goodness, baby girl. You gotta, <laughs> where are you looking? She's looking, I don't know. What do you think? Okay. All right. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Uh, so we have Paul says Harry's sense of entitlement that someone should dare refuse his demands for security. A veiled threat that Harry demands to know the name of the person who made that decision. Yeah, he wants to like go after that person 100%. He wants to yell at them, complain to them. And it's like, dude, they can't justify it. And here's the thing, guys. It was going to happen at some point anyways. It was going to happen. Harry's 
prominence in the place of the monarchy was going to diminish over time. It happens to all royals and all families. And so at some point, he, he just wouldn't be as necessary. And so it was just going to happen either way. Harry and Meghan just accelerated it by initiating Mexa. They were going to, they accelerated the inevitable. So anyways, she wants to get down, but say, hi, Miss Pippa. Bye. Oh, why, thank you. I thank you. Okay. I'll get down. You want to lay in your bed? She has bones up here now, too. So she may be like, where's my bone? All right, we have, so Netta, question. What do you think of Robert Jobson saying Prince William is jealous of Harry's Invictus games? I ne nearly fell off my sofa laughing. So I think what the issue is, and I would have to actually watch the video in particular, but I think the first Invictus games, it's entirely possible. Harry William did feel a bit of jealousy that Harry had this huge event that was getting a lot of positive pre press and everything in a way that he, he didn't. Um, and it was one of those things where it's like perfectly natural sometimes to feel a bit jealous. What I don't like is people on social media going, well, William can never ever feel jealous of Harry because of course he can. He's human like the rest of us. He can totally feel jealousy. So this notion that William could not, I think is just a little silly, frankly. Um, and so I just, just didn't really like that um, direction people were going in. And so I think it's entirely possible that, because I think he was talking about the first Invictus games. I don't think really anymore. William has his own thing, which is Earthshot, which is from a financial standpoint, much more successful than the Invictus games is. I think the Invictus games is constantly losing money. So yeah, I think that's kind of kind of it. E. Williamson says your audio is out of sync. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't really seen anybody else say that, so I don't know. It does have to go through sort of a relay thing. So it it does go through the like the roadcaster here that I have. Um, so that could be it, but we shall see. Or it could be you because I haven't seen anything else. Um, so Kathy says, I'm not hearing any slurping when you drink. LOL. Nice, nice mic. Why, thank you. That was kind of the whole point. Oh, Market says, how did you break your foot, Brittany? It's a long, complicated, strange story. Um, and, but yeah, I just say it. Let's say I fell off a roof and my foot shattered on impact. And it was just very unpleasant experience. It's still like, if I think about it too much, like it gives me the chills. It gives me the chills. Uh, Butterbugs says, so I've had two O'Donnell surgeries, both invasive. It took me six months to even be decent, yet a full year to recover. So I'm wishing the Princess of Wales well. Yeah, I, I just don't understand why um, people don't understand that. It just seems so weird to me that people just don't seem to understand that it takes a while. It takes a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, I Asma says Spotify still has archetypes. Watch it there. Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't understand why they're making this big deal. It's like, oh, we're taking it off Spotify. We're going to make it available to everyone. Not that it was available to everyone before. All you had to do was download the app. <laughs> uh, John Alvarez. Hi from Yonkers, New York. Love the videos. Your commentary is original. Why? Thank you. I appreciate that. I really tried to. That's why I um, try to try to do those sorts of things. So, so E. Williamson, I think you mentioned that before. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, we're, it's still a work in progress. We shall see. So I don't see anybody else being too complaining about it. So it is what it is, but we're in the, we're in a work in progress guys. Jen, Jen, you use your abs more than you think. So abdominal surgery takes a long time to recover. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, so Asma says, what is the next YouTube milestone? Well, I want to get to 150 and then I would love to get to hundred on the fashion, but I didn't miss TR Tuesday this week. I do apologize guys. Um, I had a weird thing. I think it was, I can't remember what day it was, but I was totally out of internet for like, like the whole day. And that really unmotivated me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Cause I was like, well, what do I do? I mean, I, I need to be more focused hundred percent. Christine says, hello from London. How are you? How's Miss Pippa? She is good. I don't know where she is. Oh, I can see your little tail out of my door. That's so cute. Like I heard the door is mostly closed, but I can see her little tail peeking out. So now I have to take a picture Um, because it's just so cute. Uh, Maybe I'll show you guys here. Not right now, maybe later. Her little tail, oops, is peeking out from the door. So I know where she is. She's guarding the door, guys. She's guarding and making sure nobody interrupts our live stream, except if it's Miss Pippa. Miss Pippa can interrupt the live stream, but nobody else. 
Oh, hi, Her Majesty the Queen. Thanks again for another great live stream. I love how you don't go into the gutter with entertaining the crazy rumors for views. Stick to the facts. I love that you're not a sellout and the mics is chef's kiss. Mwah. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Yes, oh, yes. I really do appreciate that. And I really do. That is what I've, I always appreciate when people note that because I know some other people go in different directions, but I always try to stick to mainstream publications reacting to mainstream stories just because I don't want to go down a different direction. Other people can do what they want, but I am just, um, I just want to go with facts and what makes sense. I don't like if some crazy rumor and conspiracy turns out to be true, totally fine with it. But at this point, I'd rather stick to what we know and what we can prove. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hopefully maybe even my sniffling's not as um, easy to pick up on. Candy says, hi, Brittany. Good morning from Michigan. The rumors about Prince William and Princess Catherine are disgusting and appalling. Sure, the Sussex squad has started the awfulness. Yes, it's just like so gross. Like, why? Why are you doing that? There's just no, no reason to do that. It's just so ugly. So ugly and sad. Uh, Chateau Papercraft says, greeting from Denver Airport, listening in before my flight takes off. Well, I hope you have a wonderful flight. Uh, Market says, uh, Market Garden says, what is the age limit for your trip? As far as I'm aware, you just need to be 18. Maybe 21. Uh, but yeah, just 18. So we we have no age limits or restrictions. Like sometimes if you're, we've had instances where people are like, you know what, I'm, it is a lot of walking going to Europe. I'll be 100% honest. Like when you're there, there's just a lot of walking that you do. And so you will have, like, if that's harder for you, there's, there might be, there's sometimes where we can kind of minimize that, but just sometimes where it's just not really possible. So at some points you, uh, I know some people have gotten tired and said, well, you know, I don't want to go out this particular day. And it's totally up to you if that's what happened. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, there's, you know, cobblestones that can be sort of hard on your feet and you sometimes will go up and down hills. But really, I, th I would say it's pretty low key. We're not doing anything super strenuous. So there is no age limit. Uh, so Karen says, Tom Bauer is totally out of line discussing Catherine's condition related to what happened and that her convalescence would take longer. The RF asked for no discussions. Yeah, I don't I don't even want to go into it. Obviously, we know there's been a couple of things that have been suggested, but I really I just don't even want to go into it. I don't know what it will, is. I don't care to really know. Like it would just be like sate my curiosity. But honestly, as well, you know what? She gives enough of her life to the world. Why does she have to give this to uh, Christine says we go to Scotland every October. It's heaven on earth. It is such a lovely place. It really is. Oh my goodness. I am so behind on the comments. Um, so let's say, oh yeah. P Pacific says mother's day in the UK is March 10th. That means next Sunday, Catherine will be getting extra spoiling. Yeah. And we might get a picture too, which would be awesome. And it might be from a different time of year, but it would just be lovely to see a picture picture we haven't seen yet. Kyler says, Bernie, you should definitely visit York and the Yorkshire Dales and Moors and Whitby on the East Coast. Yes, I would love to like spend like a couple of months and like do a whole like UK tour thing, but I haven't had the chance to yet. I almost did that after the tour we went to in May last year to the UK, but I just didn't really have, I didn't really have a good schedule planned to be quite honest. And so I'm like, oh, this is kind of a dumb idea. I really need a plan. <laughs> I was going to stay till trooping, but that was like my only plan. And there was like two and a half weeks in between. I was like, okay, what am I doing? Uh, so we have a big B, Biggerly. Good morning from Germany. Guten Tag. I know that's probably good day or something or hello. Um, so Tanya says, I understand the appeal is not automatic and must be approved. Yes. So it sounds like that will be the case. Oh, Firemental, you're a very kind, Brittany. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Uh, so Red Squirrel says, where are the number of court cases for has been? So I looked and I think there's three still active and that might include this one. Um, so anyways. Oh, the, the movie Denial is very worth a watch. Very interesting movie. Yes, and the book is interesting too. It's called History on Trial. It's, it's very interesting. I really enjoyed it. I was going through a history class where we kind of talked about bias within historical research so i know it might not be to everybody's cup of tea because i recommended it to my mom she's like yeah i didn't really like it so i was like okay i don't know i thought it was awesome so i'm not gonna say tell you all like it, just giving that caveat but i thought it was very interesting 
And I really did enjoy it from the perspective of kind of what she had to prove, which was really interesting, which you might think is super easy, but she sort of had to prove that the Holocaust did happen because she was going up against a Holocaust denier and he had sued her because she said basically he was uh, like his conclusions were were awful and he he sued her for defaming him. And she had to prove the Holocaust happened. The hard thing is, is that the Nazis were pretty good at wiping out some of their evidence. And so she had to go through and kind of prove things that were harder that you would think would be harder to prove. One of the interesting things was um, because they destroyed the gas chambers at Auschwitz is that they, there was a door, you know, cause they had the doors to the gas chambers. And one of the things they kind of had to sort of prove is that the door could only be opened one way. And so you couldn't, you, once you were in, you couldn't get out. So that was kind of interesting. It's interesting, very interesting book. I thought, but, uh, Missy Lulu, I find it interesting that for the mainstream media, people that never talked or followed Lady Gabriella, uh, they want to know something so private. Yeah, I kind of agree. I don't, I, I'm I'm looking forward to knowing, but yeah. Uh, Nana says, Brittany, I love your live stream. It's a work in progress. Love to be part of the evolution. Why, thank you. Yes. So again, we will still be doing these live streams, but I'll be doing something different totally for um, the future. And so, yeah, you might know because I did an announcement on member Mondays earlier this week. So yeah, it's a work in progress though. Um, I need to get, I always feel like I need to get more stuff and I really probably don't need to get more stuff. <laughs> I have so much stuff guys. I'm always like, well, I need the eh, X and Y and everything. But I will say when I started this channel, I tried to invest in the best stuff I could and it did end up being a really good idea. Lily Berry Sweet says, good morning, Brittany. Say hello. Uh, please say hello to me from Pennsylvania. Lighting is great here. Why? Thank you, Lily Berry. So glad you're able to join. And yes, that was probably an hour ago that you posted that. So I do, I do feel that it just takes me a while. It's, I used to get, be able to sort of kind of get through these. No, not anymore. Crystal W. Wonder if Harry will go to the funeral. He probably won't. I, I don't think he was that close to Lady Gabriella or her husband. And he was kind of out of the picture by the time they married. So yeah, so so let's see. Oh, Kimmy from South Korea is here. Really enjoy your content. If you encounter hate hater online, remember you have a fan on the opposite side of the Pacific Ocean. Why? Thank you so much, Kimmy. I do appreciate that. And I have been to South Korea. It was, I think, in 2014. And so I really enjoyed my time there. I only got to spend 24 hours. So I'd love to go back um, because I almost got into the palace and I missed the opening by like five minutes. <laughs> so annoyed because I kept trying to find an extra bag because I had too much stuff and just stupid things. And I'm like, I think at the end of the day, why did I do? I sh sh just should have gone, just should have gone. I did have a wonderful time in your city and I just thought it was a lot of fun. Ritz says, what is disturbing or well in your country? Obviously, I don't know if you live in Seoul or not. Uh, Ritz says that what is disturbing about the Utah trip is that the friends never mentioned Megan or gold adults. General stuff does not add up. I don't think that's necessarily bad. That's sort of kind of what Megan requires so yeah anyways <laughs> Azuma says princess Anne, who has actually had a kidnapping attempt doesn't have 24 hour security a hundred percent a hundred percent a hundred percent uh red says oh but it's not dangerous for her to roll down her window at the jubilee and smile and wave at the paps really yeah exactly they they violate their own security all the time Oh, so uh, can you show me how how to get the lovely silver crowns you have in your background? So these actually I got at the Biltmore House over in Asheville, North Carolina. So I don't know if you can get those. I just thought they would be fun and a good thing to add. And maybe I'll maybe they'll be part of Pippa's office. She needs again, she needs an official office within um, so that she can work on her stuff. So which is, you know, mostly chewing her bones. And looking cute. <laughs> Bonnie Murray says, I love your channel. I thank you. I thank you. Uh, Asma says, it hasn't happened to if in the UK for me, mail being stolen. It happens all the time in the US. <laughs> but this was in particular really bad because it was in the wrong box. I literally could not access any of it. It was just like so sad. But I got it. I got it. Thank goodness, guys. I was really, really, really. Oh, my gosh. I was so worried about it. Uh, so Adopt says your new mic is much clearer. Very nice. Thank you. Yes. 
That's why you pay for the more expensive ones. Um, and so, and obviously as well, it's probably a little bit in my face, but I'm using my normal webcam, which I usually use. And again, I will be moving things hopefully at some point to actually record, like doing the video via this. You can actually do it via this. And I, I kind of have some of the stuff for it, but I, I, there's must be some sort of setting I'm missing because it, it, it shuts off. And so I don't want it to shut off. And I actually have a thing that keeps my camera going like all the time. So got a lot of stuff. So much stuff. Uh, Lucy says, wow, I delivered my neighbor's package and I walked my butt over there to deliver it to its rifle. album. we're bummed. People don't do that on the regular. I mean, they could have done that. I just don't know if they're going to. I just don't know. Uh, P. Wookie says, Brittany, what is Queen Margaret's title now that she has retired? So she's still Queen Margaret. Um, I said Queen Margarita. I think I've heard it pronounced, but I'll just go with Margaret because that's kind of what it is. Uh, so Queen Margaret, she still has her title as queen. She is not the queen, though. She's still Queen Margaret. She's still Her Majesty. But she is not uh, the reigning queen anymore. Oh, yeah. It's Megan says, yes, the Sussex squad goes after RNN on X. I troll her enough already. We support you, girl. Why, thank you. Yes, I do get trolled. I do try to annoy, uh, ignore it. Um, so, yeah, I do try to ignore, ignore it. Ah, love your channel, but please put your mic on mute when you drink. You gulp and stuff. Sip your mic, picks it up, gulping down a big beer at the bar. Pretend you're a Catherine and sip. Yeah, it apparently does not pick up on some things, but I try. I try. I'm so glad I have a, it's going to be an awesome new setup, but we're still getting used to it. Uh, John Alvarez says, I'm surprised Harry and Meghan can't do commercials. They could, but it's really considered like really, really low brow. And so even Hollywood celebrities, most of the time they do commercials for international companies. They don't do them for us companies. I mean, that's not always hundred percent true, but that is like George, Clooney, he did was Nestle. He did some sort of coffee brand for a while, and then even there was some even more commercials that he did for like Asia, I think, and stuff. <laughs> Rich says, "Great observation on California, Brittany. Thank you. Yeah, it seems like, like I said, guys, it, it seems like ever since Harry and Meghan moved there, it's been disastrous weather, like every winter, which is funny because California is known for having fantastic weather, and I feel like Harry and Meghan brought the cloud of despair. Um, so, uh." Makes me wonder what Cheryl, if Cheryl Crow was with WME. And somebody asked, what does Cheryl Crow say? She says something to the effect of, I, I got to go have lunch with Kate Middleton or something stupid. Like, it was just like generally very dumb. I'm like, why? I'm like, why? <laughs> why did you do that? And so I just am not. Not a fan. Ah, Kyle says, hi, Brittany, love your channel. Become a member, but I can't have a monthly bill for this. Please come up with a yearly plan. Sure, I'll look into that. I think somebody else mentioned that too. Um, so I'm going to write a note to myself, yearly plan. So just those for who want to support the channel and all the craziness we get up to. It's it's so fun. Um, so I just, I really do enjoy it. And I can't wait to go back to Europe this year. Uh, so Kari North says, I'm Norwegian. We were worried about our king. Why did he have to travel so far away on holiday? Yeah, I do wonder the the um, the wisdom in that. But obviously, obviously, he that's what he decided to do. And I so I hope he feels better soon. I hope they're able to get him all the help that he needs. And so I was just trying to scroll down and trying to see if I... Um, ah, so Julie says smoky quartz is the official gemstone of Scotland. I did not need to, I did not know that. And we also have a uh, market says, um, anything plaid or kilt or scarf would be a nice souvenir. Yeah. Then this was from Julie. Uh, Judah says, I love the sign and the camera angle you have now. If you place the top left would look great. Yes. Yeah, so it will be, uh, well, the, the angle you see will change a little bit, so it'll be even better hopefully in the future. So. We shall do this. Um, it'll just be a work in progress. Aww. James Kelly says, good night, everyone. 3.30 in Australia. Big night. Sorry, Brittany. No worries at all. Uh, aw. Aaron says, our Yorkie is named Teddy. That's so cute. Oh, yes. Thistle, too. I have a beautiful thistle brooch from Scotland. Thistle is the symbol of Scotland. That is another thing. Because um, I know in a couple places, like, you know, Venice is known for its glass. And so I have a glass. I don't have... I was 
I would call myself a kid sort of when I went, I think the last time I went, I was probably 20 and I did, but I got it before I got a, a glass beaded bracelet from Venice. I'd love to get something even cooler now. I could actually buy something really cool. Uh, not that I don't love what I have. I do, but it'd be cooler. <laughs> as much as is it possible to have a car juice in NYC? Probably not. I think everybody kind of thought they were out of their minds when that much that was mentioned. Um, so I, I don't know, but I just still don't think it makes much sense. Oh, everybody saw you, Miss Pippa. Hello, Miss Pippa. They says, oh, that says, hi, Miss Pippa. Hi, Miss Pippa. They said, oh, hi, I said hi to you. Now she is sleeping on uh, the Ugg blanket. Pippa tax has been paid. Yes. Yes, she is. She is darling. She is really is the cutest thing. And so I showed my parents um, and my sister the uh, picture of her in her new princess harness. And um, I think I said pretty princess. And my dad said pretty princess <laughs> velociraptor. <laughs> she, somebody called her once a mix between a German shepherd and a velociraptor. Uh, which I thought was really cute. Because <laughs> uh, apparently uh, I had a friend. Um, pet sitting and she took her on a hike and the guy kind of was kind of you know kicking his feet because you know they were going with miss pippa but then he realized pippa oh she's a mix between a german shepherd and a velociraptor and mixed up in a tiny little eight pound package so she's just so cute <laughs> uh what do you think after five years megan would get the hint that no he's going to pick up for their brand you would think but she it, i mean she still thinks she's trying to be a movie like <clears throat> In some ways, I think Megan's still trying to be like a movie star. And I'm like, but you never were going to get there to begin with. I don't, just, just don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so uh, P Pacific says Catherine siblings went on ho winter holidays hundreds of miles away from the UK and their sister onto the Caribbean and went into European snow mountains. Reassuring signs to me. Yeah, if it, it was very like they wouldn't be doing that. Cal Strand says your mic is awesome. No feedback or anything like that. Good. That's what I like to hear. That's helpful to me because I just want to, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I got the whole setup. I got the little arm. I worked, worked hard on that. Oh, no, don't think this is all. Joe Marsh says, Brittany, how old is too old for your Scotland trip? I'd love to go, but I would hate to be a bummer. A downer of an older woman holding back younger people back, even if I feel young. No, we have a mixture of ages. We have people who are, I think, um, I have to look at the age again. I know um, 30s all the way up to 60s and 70s we've had on the trips. And so there will always be somebody who's maybe you're, you know, a bit more your speed. We have, we've had a couple of those. And so if you need to take it slower, we can always do that. We can always like mix and a match and just do different things. And so it just all depends. And if, you know, you're really not feeling good that day, totally, completely fine. And if you want to take it slower and we'll be on buses sometimes and stuff like that. So you won't really be required to do that much in terms of like, you know, sort of legwork type thing, if that makes sense. Marie says, Oh, Miss Pippa. Carla says you're out of sync a little bit. Yeah. We'll have to figure that out. Um, uh, but can't do anything really about that right now. So uh, let's see, keep going here. We'll wind up here at about 12. Uh, so uh, Judah says, would you ever do a tour of the London churches and palaces? So when we went initially to the UK back uh, last year, I took people on a tour. We did Tower of London. We did St. Paul's because they're about a 30 minute walk in between. And then we took the tube over to Kensington Palace and did that in the afternoon. So it was a very full day. A lot of people did get kind of tired, um, but it was, we were able to do so, so much. And so it was just really an awesome, awesome um, opportunity. So yeah, I would love to do that. I, I don't know, maybe at some point, cause I kind of have, if I go for the, if I go for the Scandinavian tours, I'll have a break in between. I may come over to the UK and try to do some things. I don't know if people would be interested in meeting up or something like that and just figuring out how to do something like that. It's just, um, they do require obviously cost to enter and there are different things. And so it'll be a, we could figure it out at some point. We would have to see, but yeah, I would just love to do something like that. I, cause I do love doing tours and talking about history stuff. And Megan's math says, do you see Abigail Spencer on uh, Kelly Clarkson talking about Megan Markle? Yeah, and that Megan Markle voted for Kelly Clarkson in like 2001. And I'm like, does anybody care? 
No, I actually did see, I'll be totally honest. I thought American Idol was stupid when I first saw the poster. So that's just my personal opinion on the matter. <laughs> but I was just like, I was like, that was like 20 years ago. Who cares? Like you're just desperate for relevance. It's just stupid. Yeah. So Natural Magic says, Brittany, hi, Brittany. Love your channel. You've come so far so fast. You're so inspiring. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. What book was that again? I don't know which book. I have lots of books. I have lots of books. <laughs> I told my mom I was going to get a new new bookcase. And of course, I, I wanted a deal. And then the deal didn't exist. And yada, yada, yada. Anyways. And so I had like a, some book bags on my counter. And my mom, I was like, oh, I got some great books. I got them on a deal. You know, they were at a used bookstore. I got a great deal. And my mom's like, yeah, that's just what you need. More books. <laughs> Especially because I bought a duplicate of one because I have so many. I forget where they are. So, uh, NC says, been following you since under a thousand followers. Keep doing what you're doing. Learn something new every day. Great live today. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Yeah, I was just a little inching that could. I was just so excited. Uh, Creatively Free says, hi, Brittany. Love your channels. By the way, when are you going to do more British royal history? I love your insights. Have you been to Hampton Court? Love history too. Keep up the great work. Yes. So, I would love to do more history. I would technically probably put it end up putting it on another channel just because which I ended up doing with the fashion channel just because some people don't really care for the fashion stuff or they really like the other royal stuff you know it just all depends on the audience and everything but I really do would really really love to do a have have more history stuff it just would take more time to research because I want to make sure I do it right and so that is what I just don't have time for quite yet because I always want to make sure I'm doing the best things possible and the most like accurate things. So Debbie R, one of our members. Hi, Brittany. Love your channel. You look fabulous today. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Um, uh, Rich says, Tripping the Color will be here before we know it. Please, please, please no Harry and Meghan. I don't think so. I don't think so. I just, I do hope though that they start putting the whole family on the balcony again. I thought it looked kind of sparse last time. It's just fun to see everyone. Uh, PN, uh, P new C says, I totally understand Velociraptor. Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's sweet. Uh, Debbie H says, is the long puffer coat the one she wore that's our mess? Why does she waste money buying short and long coats in the same color? She really has burned through their money. Yeah. I don't know if it's also Hermes. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, but that Hermes, that Hermes bomber coat, I'm sorry, that thing was ugly. It was just like deeply unflattering. And I'm like, why did you buy that? It's ugly. It's like three grand. Uh, Rebecca Foster said, good morning, everyone from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, Brittany, love your new background. Looks great. Sorry for being late. I will watch rerun and bye from now. See you later. <laughs> uh, Jolie is David Devere says, I think Cheryl Crow mindlessly jumped on the bandwagon thinking it was somehow cool or in vogue. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think so too. That was kind of it. Tanya says, nice mic, Brittany. Why? Thank you. I keep clicking on those because it's just, just good to hear the feedback. <laughs> just good to hear the feedback. Um, so let's see. Gotta bounce all. Nice new setup, Brit. Hi, we Pippa. Have a good weekend. Why, thank you. She says thank you too. <laughs> oh, Jazz says, Oh my goodness, I saw the Abigail Spencer clip. So cringe. Yes, so cringe. Uh, Gina says, I can't go with you, but I would love to see you there on YouTube. Will you film live in Scotland? I might. It depends. I sort of get I try to do um, obviously pay attention to the group that's there. So I don't try to do too much for the channel or anything like that. And so it is one of those things where it just depends on the time. And there might be a time where it, there could be a cool opportunity to do it. So we shall see, but I'll try to get more video and stuff this year, but just because I've had some really nasty trolls and stuff experiences in the past, I try not to draw too much attention to the people who are on the trip, just because not that I don't want to, but just to protect y'all's privacy too. Cause especially last time it got really wild because we had just started the trip and the Sussex stands were freaking out because I was in Germany for this trip that had nothing to do with the Invictus games, which was like a week away. And somehow I was stalking Harry and Megan. And so it was just like really freaked me out. So I probably would have gotten more, but honestly, I just got so freaked out. I just got so freaked out. And I was like, I don't want anybody to go. I don't want anybody to freak out on the people who are here. And I don't want to wreck this. It was just, it's just a big, big mess. So Bella raindrops. Thank you so much for the tip. Noon mic is brilliant. Brittany quality audio. Yay. Yes. That's what I wanted to hear. I just wanted a really, really good, solid quality audio. Y'all. 
Um, so thank you so much. We also have Maureen deeply unflattering made me laugh. LOL about Megan's Dior shirt. Yeah. I'm like, how does she make Dior look so bad? I don't understand. Dior is magnificent. There's actually this pair of Dior shoes I really wanted for a while. And I keep telling myself, I don't need it. I don't need it, but I want it. Um, <laughs> so, um, I love Dior. I think I love the feminine aspects of Dior. I just, Megan Markle wrecks it, man. She just really does. Um, so Aram Scout, I will subscribe to a channel of history if you do it too. It was one of my favorites until the professor ruined it for me. Yes, I love history and I think history so needs to be talked about in a real way. But I just don't want it being, uh, but I want to say truth. I want to be, I want to be true about it. I want to make sure I'm getting people the correct information. And that takes time to do some really, really good research. And I just don't have time totally to do that right now. But so we will wrap it up here, but just a couple of little quick, um, people are asking, sorry about joining now. Did you talk about King Harold? I did. So yeah, he has had a temporary pacemaker put in. He is currently in Malaysia. So he will be flying home to Norway, hopefully here very, very soon. And hopefully he'll be able to recover. So I, he just seems to have like a recurring issue, like every couple of months. So, um, it's just very sad to see. Uh, so Terry says, Brittany, if you're really interested in learning about Holocaust, watch Queen B7. Um, I'll have to look that up. I started watching, I think it was the Auschwitz documentary, which was like by the BBC or something, which was very, very good. I actually had to stop watching it because it was kind of um, starting to depress me. And that's that can, that can take a bit because I can, I can handle a lot. But I was like, I, I need to take a step back and not listen to this anymore uh, for a little bit. Wildcat Wilma says, maybe Dior will send her a cease and desist for putting their clothes by her. Yeah, so yes. Oh my gosh. I love Dior. But why does she like if she doesn't even have the silhouette for Dior? That's kind of my critique. Is I think you need a more feminine silhouette than she has. She has sort of a boxy one. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just that's just reality of the situation. So yeah, guys, we will go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Thank you so much for the feedback on the new mic. It means so much. So glad I got it. It's again, there was just a little little thing that um it nearly didn't happen so guys anyways i hope you enjoy the rest of your saturday with your family and friends oh and we do have a super sticker from sharon thank you so much sharon so guys i hope you again wonderful day i will see you guys soon and thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>